All right, so this is my first video in the Essential Organic Chemistry series, uh, and we're just going to start simple. All of organic chemistry revolves or is basically the chemistry of carbon, so we're going to start off talking about carbon. Now, uh, if you'll remember, carbon is in the fourth column of the periodic table of elements, which means it has four valence electrons. So generally, carbon has four bonds. So you've got carbon, and then uh, you've got two that go in the plane because carbon has a tetrahedral shape. Hopefully you'll remember that. Then you've got one that goes back into the page, which is represented by a dashed line, and one that comes out of the page, represented by a, uh, uh, a wedge, the wedge and dash uh, nomenclature. So that is your basic carbon. Sometimes it'll be bonded to other carbons. Sometimes there's just electron pairs. Sometimes, you know, there's a, a halogen or whatever, but carbon generally has four bonds. Now, there are two basic flavors of compounds in organic chemistry. You've got your uh, acyclic carbons, which look something like that. There you've got one, two, three, four, five, which is meth, eth, pro, but, pentane. Uh, that is acyclic, or you can have something like cyclohexane. Uh, the nomenclature is pretty simple. I'm sure you go over it in class. You, if you, your first carbon uh, is a, a methyl, so if you just have CH4, that's methane. Your second one makes it propyl, uh, or sorry, ethyl. Third is propyl, meth, eth, pro, but, pent, and then six is hex, hept, oct, non, dec, etc., etc. That's kind of you know it's what you've grown up with learning about how to how to number things. And so far, all we've talked about are, are single bonds. So um, you've probably, just to go over, again, this is called the skeleton no, uh, uh, con drawing convention. Each of those corners is a carbon, each of those endpoints, I should say. And uh, what you can imagine is that since all carbons have four bonds, you see this, this carbon right here only has one bond to another carbon, so there's really three hydrogens coming off of each of those carbons. This one in the middle ha it has two hydrogens. These have two and uh, so on and so on. So those are all hydrogens, those red lines. However, those are all singly bonded carbons. You can also have carbons that are double bonded to each other. So if you have something like ethylene, which, it, which would be draw, drawn using the skeleton uh, convention like that, that is a carbon that is double bonded to another carbon, and then off of each of those would be two hydrogens. That's ethylene, which is double bonded, or you could erase those uh, one of those hydrogens off of each and turn it into acetylene which is triple bonded and would look something like this and of course that's linear because it's sp hybridized you should hopefully remember some hybridization from your general chemistry the last uh, ethylene was sp2 hybridized because it, that each of the carbons had three bonds now uh, this video series is kind of go, going to go through basic functional groups. So far we've looked at alkenes, alkanes, which are the double bonds, and alkynes, which are the triple bonds. Again, alkanes are the single bonds. And of course you have lots of different functionalities that you might have heard in your gem gen, uh, gen chem class. You have, you know, ketones that look something like this, um, aldehydes that are terminal ketones basically, that's not a proper way of saying it, but uh, you have different functionalities such as uh, halogens. You know, if you put a, you could put a halogen off of here. You could have uh, aromatic compounds. There's lots of different ones. And what we're going to go through is kind of functionality group at a time and look at several reactions at every functional group. So next video, we are going to start at alkenes. So see you guys.